reviewing the Grip Gear Movie Maker set. This guy right here. I came across it on Amazon and I was kind of interested. I thought it was a cool idea to have a motorized slider. Um, I think I picked it up for right around $100 last time I looked. Um, I believe it's about $130. For that amount of money, I thought, why not give it a shot? It can't be all bad. It is advertised as being quite a bit better than it is. For its money, I would say it pretty much does what you would expect it to do. Um, it's not bad at all for doing time lapse. You won't notice it, but video, there does seem to be a slight bit of shake as the camera moves down the track because the part that the camera is actually mounted on is the part that moves and the track is just a fixed piece of teeth. And there's a couple little chunks in the track where the track has a small gap in it. And every time it hits one of those, it'll jerk the camera and it's super noticeable in the film. I, I really don't think I would ever use it for panning shots um, or nor like your normal slider shot for a video. It did do a good job for time lapse. I set it up, ran a couple times lapse with it just to see what it would do. Um, it's kind of cool that it has all the different settings and everything. But also, if you just look at the ball joint right here, this ball joint is extremely flimsy. The motor's strong enough to hold a DLSR camera and move it side to side as long as there's no elevation. But the ball joint is so weak that it instantly just falls over and wiggles the camera too much. So it's not really usable for that. I know it's advertised just for cell phones and small like GoPros. Um, my GoPro on it did fine. Um, I actually have a um, three axis gimbal for my GoPro and when I used that in with the slider, the film was perfectly smooth, but without the gimbal, you would notice small little dips in the footage. So this is what it looks like with my DLSR on there right now recording. As you notice, there's a little bit of mo motion. It's set on the middle setting. It's on four right now. You have two different options with it. You have slow, which is the more powerful motor, which gives you one through four. And then if you put it into the fast mode, it gives you one through eight, and the motor's not quite as strong. Um, it's actually on the fast mode now and still has plenty of power to move my camera as long as it's perfectly flat. The second you elevate one side of it at all, it, it will not move the camera. And as you notice, the ball joint on it is so weak that the DLSR shakes really easily, just even me touching the table right now is causing it to shake. I know it's not designed for that. I just know a lot of people are gonna be curious on whether they can put their DLSR on the slider or not. You can, you can get okay shots with it. It's not perfect by any means, but it is a $100 slider. So I guess you can't really complain about that. Which if you're using a slider isn't really acceptable. That's the whole point of it. Um, I don't think I would buy it again if I had to. Um, now that I have it, hopefully I use it once in a while, but who knows? It's one of those things that'll probably end up just going in the corner with a bunch of other camera gear and collecting dust. Um, it's kind of up to you. If you if the whole reason you're looking at getting it is just to do moving time lapse with a GoPro or your cell phone, it'll probably do what you want it to do. If your idea is to get some cool panning shots um, or cool slider shots, it's not it's not gonna be up to par. You're not gonna be happy with it probably. The other thing I found kind of weird about it is it says that you can put AA batteries in it, or that I think AA or AAA, you can put batteries in it and it'll power itself. I couldn't get the door open. I tried everything to get the door off and I couldn't get the door off with the batteries in. So I've been running it just off my power bank, which works fine and it's nice because I can hook my phone up to it at the same time so both are completely charged. Um, it's not really that big of a nuisance, but it would be nice if it did have, if I could have got the door open to get the batteries in. I, I don't know why I couldn't get it open. This would be right in that like three star range because it kind of technically does what it's supposed to do. It just doesn't do a very good job at it. I think you're probably better off to save your money, save a few hundred dollars and actually just buy a slider. Um, 
but at the same time to find to buy a moving slider they're super expensive so it's up to you in there we got a bunch more tech reviews like this coming your way so don't forget to smash that like button and may your journeys be green